Experiments on Amazon now have a feature where you can actually A-B test your product titles. This is a long time coming. It's interesting that it's finally here. You could test A, a plus content, but that was literally the only thing you could A-B test on Amazon. This is something that's been around a long time in e-commerce. We're always trying to find that little bit of edge, whether it's version A or version B, that's better. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your first A-B title test. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is log into your Seller Central account. I'll have a link for you in the description uh, for the experiments dashboard, but it's basically amazon.com slash experiments slash dashboard with Seller Central before that amazon.com. In here, you can come in and click a new experiment. So here's one I've already built. We're gonna create a new one with you. So you hit create new experiment and from this drop down on the right hand side, you can see it says product title. So we're gonna click into that. And we're gonna just pick a random one here. So let's say I wanted to do this one. Here on the left hand side, you can see here's the current version, version A. And so when you A-B test, you don't wanna change anything else. You wanna change just one thing. And in this case, we're just gonna change the title. Um, so I'm gonna move my camera here so you can see this. So you can hit the copy version A for editing purposes. So let's say there's something in here. You want it to be very, very similar, but you're gonna change one single word. Or maybe you're gonna go a little bit more aggressive and change lots of words. Both of those tests would be okay, but if the less you change, the more likely you're going to understand the impact. So uh, the more data you collect on that single change, the better. And, and so if we wanted to switch the word glass to say tumbler, what performs better, calling it a wine glass or a wine tumbler? We'll get conclusive data on that. We can then extrapolate that data to every other product that we have in our system. But if we were to change like, I don't know, seven words or 15 words in this title, we're not gonna know which of the changes led to the increase or the decrease in performance so that's the challenge uh, the other thing to note is after you've made a submission it actually is manually reviewed so it goes to the status submitted pending content approval so if your items have uh, a particular propensity to uh, cause scrutiny you know maybe you've had a parentage break in the past maybe uh, maybe you don't have your brand name in the front of the title or something else that you're not currently following Amazon guidelines the more likely you're going to need to not want to muck with it or make changes. So the more changes you make on a listing that's in uh, a, a higher propensity for problems, let's say you sell supplements, for example, you, you, it's really sketchy, it's kind of concerning. So you gotta measure your risk versus the gain. So what are you gonna gain from this, this change? Could you get more traffic? Could you get more conversions? So let me know how it goes, guys. Go set up your first A-B test. Uh, I would run it for four weeks minimum. And let me know how it goes. Post your results in the comments section. We can all talk about what the value of this is. Um, I have used A-B testing and multivariant testing for years as an e-commerce director um, across many different companies. The one thing I will tell you is that in marketing, you're gonna make like 10 changes. And you're going to know that five of those were bad changes and five were good. The problem is you're not going to know which five. So test smaller tests and you're going to be able to be a little bit more conclusive on whether A or B is the right thing. Uh, so you wouldn't want to, for example, run an A-B test on price and A plus content and title all simultaneously, for example. All right. So hopefully that's helpful. If you need help running A-B tests or want to hire a consultant for either a coaching call, one-off coaching call, uh, an a la carte service, maybe you need some SEO or something like that, or you want to do some full service management with us, go over to myamazonguy.com and we'll help happily talk to you about it. Thanks so much. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guide.